mm-hmm. Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. TNT down. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. I found a quote online. I want to read it to you and get your thought on it. All right, let's hear it. It says, giving someone your trust mm. is like giving them a gun. Mm. They're either going to shoot you mm. or protect you. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> giving someone your trust. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think the congregation heard you. <laughs> uh, giving oh, somebody right. your trust. Giving somebody your trust. <laughs> Say it again, Do brother you Jonas. Trust somebody. Say it again, Do brother you Jonas. Trust <laughs> It's like giving them a gun, <laughs> a gat, a big old bullet thing, <laughs> a weapon they can you use a against you. Can you gonna use it for good or bad? They might use it for the bad. Oh, but they might use it for the good. You don't know. Is it gonna be good or bad? Well, well, they either gonna shoot you, oh, or they're gonna protect you. Ah! Can, you can you believe it? I can. No, so yeah. That's a good. I like that. I do. I like that quote. I like too. that quote that a lot. A, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Okay. Yeah, that was a good quote. Um, I might, I might take that. Yeah. Giving like, somebody your trust is like giving them a gun. I have really a, I, and, I, and I will admit this that I have, a, I have, an, I have issues with giving people ammunition. Now this ain't gonna turn into like a therapy session, <laughs> but when you think, when I think about it like that, then yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because that's really it, man. And like, if you think back to like through your life of like the people that you've like let in to trust, like yeah, either they like. Yeah. Either they like hold 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 up and you're good, or like they end up shooting you. But here, here here's a here comes the the cynic in me. All right, all it's, right. It, and it's kind of the same thing as like anyone in your life is go- either you're gonna leave them or they're gonna leave you. One of you is gonna die before the other one, or they're gonna walk out before that, or you're gonna walk out on them. So if you give someone your trust long enough, they're gonna end up shooting you anyway. Okay. Like because. No matter what, think about like girlfriends you had, like may have had the best of intention and they, they, they protected you for a long time, but then they only need to shoot you once. Yeah. yeah you know what yeah. I mean? So like they can protect you for a decade and they shoot you once and then they gone. And it's like, I think is that I'm not saying this is necessarily you, but I think is that a lot of individuals have an ideal is that anything lasts forever. Like we seem to have this idea that we're immortal, and it's you know it's very prevalent when we're young, and we just do stupid shit that could potentially kill us at all times, thinking that we're gonna live forever. But I think that that mentality persists even into like older age. We're not forever. Um, people's lives aren't forever. Our mothers are going to die. Uh, our our friends are going to pass away before us. Uh, we may die any day of the week, any any at any point in time. Right. So the idea is that any relationship that we have and, 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 and people are valuable. We're not perfect. We all make mistakes. And the thing is that any relationship we have isn't going to be riddled with mistakes or, or loss. It's just it's, it's a little uh, delusional to me. So, I mean, I, I kind of I, I would think it's that it would be beneficial to, to everybody to approach all situations from the ideal is that. Nothing's forever. So. And everyone's going to disappoint you at some point. Yeah. So you just have to be ready for it. And by be ready, I mean not necessarily looking for it to happen, but understand that when it does happen. And don't let it, like, crush you and ruin your life. I mean, yeah. that's pointless because your life is going to go on through loss. Yeah. Through, I mean, if you think about it, pain. I think, like, being a little older helps you understand it's like, you go through many different lives in your life. Yeah. Because, like, it ain't, you know, the life I'm living now ain't the life I thought I'd be living when I was 20. No. no and, like, no. the life I'm living now ain't the life I'll probably be living when I'm 60. Like I would hope not. Like, I, I, I highly doubt I'll be 60 out here playing volleyball and, like. I don't know, man. You might be. You yeah, keep it yeah, up, I'm like man. the old man keeps it up. Keeps it, if I don't stop. <laughs> I'll be, it's like uh it's like the old man in the gym see that yeah, old gray haired yeah. dude he's been you're like this dude is out he's been lifting weights since yeah. 1975 never stopped a day be out there doing the Kyrie Ir- Irvin young blood come Kyrie. on young blood yeah come on wow yeah <laughs> get out of here young blood <laughs> they call me gray hair <laughs> uh, I spiked the ball on you young blood <laughs> yeah like, oh you want me to set you up young blood set you up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it when Jonas does black voice. <laughs> wow. Is that <laughs> what? what that was? I do. I mean, in my head it wasn't black voice, but I guess. <laughs> Jesus. What? Jesus. No, you get a you get a pass for me. You get a pass. You, get <laughs> cool. a pass, you got a pass today. Uh but yeah, man. I uh I I've come to like get more I don't know, man. I hate to call it cynical. But like it is in a yeah. way. Yeah. Like I'll admit that giving trust is, is a difficult thing to do. I, I mean I struggle with it to this day. I don't really trust anybody or like give trust to anybody. But the people who do have like a certain degree of trust, they they have special bonuses and everything, you know. Because like once you put your, uh, ugh, I'm going to throw up. Once you put your emotion into like a person or a relationship, and like you know, it it, it does mean something. It means something, and it would be hard to give it up. But yeah, know, like yeah. I say, you got you got to be ready for anything. Well, yeah, but it's like I think you have to just start being prepared. Like, hey, like if you're if like, oh, I have this new person, they're a friend. Like, they're gonna they could be gone eventually. Yeah, well, they're either gonna like move, get in a relationship, be taken away, gonna they're gonna do something stupid, develop dementia. Yeah, they don't, or they'll die. You know, I mean, yeah. like. Everybody, I think it's just a little more impactful when you have like friends die when you're young because like no one's expecting like their friend to die when they're like 20, 30. You know, like no one's like, oh God, you know, it's like, I mean, it's one thing if it's like a car wreck or something, you know, it's still, it's still very. Um, I can remember the first time I heard about a friend of mine who I like went to school with passing away. I was in my 20s and it was, it was because of suicide and it was like one of those things is like brother i, I appreciate being alive and i yeah. hate to use another person's loss as a positive to me but i feel like uh, you know under the circumstances that that loss happened at least somebody's taking a positive out of it and trying to applicate that to their life so i do take it like that it's just very sobering every time i've seen it happen and it's happened multiple times at this yeah, point yeah 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 well, no, and I also like it uh, makes you reevaluate to some extent. Well, and it's like if you talk to someone who's like I don't know has like a negative mindset or like whatever, and or isn't that helping themselves or doesn't want to help themselves, it's like <laughs> you know, matter what, you can always <laughs> think like, God damn, like you know, I thought I had it bad, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's like it's all perspective is a very powerful tool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's um, yeah, it's like. It's like if you think back about like your life, like your year, like see you talk, look, think about like your year, right? And you look at it like objectively of like, oh, here's the things I overcame this year. Here's some things I did that were fun. Like it's a lot different to do that and in perspective be like, huh, I didn't have a lot of bad shit go on this year. But like then you're like, why was I depressed half the year then? Or why was I whatever? It's like what is causing me to feel this way because I really didn't have that bad of a, a year. You, Actually, you, had a pretty good year, right? Do, like, do you do like a yearly retrospective? I have the last two years. Have you? I, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, okay. I think I'm gonna start doing it like every year. That's I've pretty... never considered doing so. I've like I've never looked back like. I that. also keep track of what I do. Like I started that two years ago too. Okay, fair. So enough. like I can look back at like what I've done and what I do and like. All right. It's interesting. It's been very interesting. I'm glad your vision board is set up. I got man. I I don't have a vision board. You should, man. I hear they work. Well, you, I'll just put a stack of money in a in a. Uh, man, look, you make a plan, put it down. I hear yeah. they work. I hear they work too. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a visual person. I mean, <laughs> it keeps you on track. You know, it, Jonas. Look, I. You know, I'm. You know, we're not. We're not perfect people. No, you, we're not perfect. We don't have all the answers. But I, I like the idea of trying to instill positivity on people. Hell yeah. Um, you know, I, we. And it, it's way easier said than done. Yes. You know, I can tell you that much. I might preach it. I may. We may. We may preach positivity, but we have a hard time instilling it in our own lives at times as well. Yeah, I mean, so, even. I mean, you, that'd be like saying, like, even like a, uh, even like Tony Robbins don't get depressed sometimes. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like that's like the he's like out here changing people's lives, doing life coaching coaching all that stuff like i'm sure that dude has days where he's like i hate myself right you know what i mean everybody does it's weird jonas so. jonas new tagline for the channel uh stop being a pussy and be happy 
Can wow. we do that? Is it Can that we easy? do that one? Is that Welcome to Crazy Town Gaming where you have to stop being that and being that? Stop being a pussy and be happy. How about that? I don't know if that's the way I want to roll. No, okay, fair enough. We'll work on it. We'll work, <laughs> we'll work put on it. Put it in the put it in the percolator. We'll yeah. see how it goes. We'll put that one in the fishbowl. We'll draw we'll draw a name. <laughs> we'll draw out new taglines. Yeah. New tagline coming twenty twenty four. Uh that's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to go to the crazy town and subscribe. The crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. For TNT. Oh uh, yeah.